Have you ever wondered why you've looked out at a big expanse of water, a lake, or an ocean, and it appears very blue, sometimes beautifully blue, like in Cuba or Jamaica or somewhere where the beaches are nice white sand and the water is beautiful blue? But then if you take that water and cup it in your hands, it's not blue, it's crystal clear. Have you ever wondered why that is? Well, the answer lies in the chemical structure of water. A large body of water appears blue because it absorbs red light due to its chemical structure. When a photon with the amount of energy that makes it red hits a water molecule, it is absorbed and allows the water molecule to vibrate with its OH bonds at a more excited state. The end result is that you see water looking blue. Now, why don't you see that when you cup your hands and hold water in your hands? Doesn't look blue? It's because it's not enough water. The effect is simply not visible in small quantities of water, like the amount of water you would hold in your hands. Here's a neat fact. If you took a gallon of water and stretched it out into a long, thin tube and looked through the tube at one end, the water would actually look blue because you're looking through enough water to get that effect. There are, of course, some other factors that can influence the effect, like reflection of blue from the sky on the water and the scattering of blue light from particles that might be suspended in the water, like runoff from glaciers or things like that. But in general, when you see a large body of water and it appears very blue, it's because the water's chemical structure has caused it to absorb the red light leaving the water looking blue. If you have any questions you'd like answered here at Questionus Eruptus, leave a comment below and we'll see if we can get you an answer. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned. We'll be back with more great answers to your questions.